Hi everyone and welcome to Friendly Plastic TV. I'm your host Linda Peterson. I'm also the editor of the Friendly Plastic blog. Today's project we're going to be making magnets and it's a simple and quick project that you can use to maybe decorate your office, maybe organize some papers or better yet display some precious artwork on your fridge. Maybe you have a grandkid or you have a kid in school and you want to highlight their very best work. So grab your Friendly Plastic and let's get started. We're only going to be working with just one color of Friendly Plastic and of course you can use multiple colors and I encourage you to just experiment and give yourself maybe even just 15 minutes of play. So you can choose a light color Friendly Plastic like I have here. Um, I'm actually going to work on the gold and you can see here that I've already started by applying some ink. So I have some acid free dye ink that I'm just going to apply here to the surface of the friendly plastic. I also have a small stamp and we're going to use this to lift some of the ink away and this will reveal a little pattern. You can use any pattern that you want. You can kind of see the little dragonflies in the pattern. This just provides a background for what we're going to do next. Set that off to the side and in the meantime here's a couple of things that I've done for the next step is I have stamped some or rubber stamped some images onto an inkjet transparency. You can also run this through your printer using any image that you would like. Remember they're transparent so it's going to show through and that's what I like. I also like words so I've printed off some words here in my photo editing program and just remember you need to size those down according to the size of marble that you're going to be using and then cut out your images. So I have that already done right here and I've already applied my words to my transparency using double stick tape. So I applied double stick tape to the back of my marble and then I positioned it over my image and burnished it to the back and then I cut off any excess with a pair of scissors. We're going to do the exact same thing by adding another layer of double stick tape onto the back of this and then we're going to position this over the top of your friendly plastic so that your friendly plastic shows through. The last step before we put on the magnets is to pretty up those edges. So I'm going to turn it over. This is the back of the friendly plastic. It's black. I'm going to add a little bit of heat. Just enough to soften the edges and then pat those edges down so that they're nice and neat. After it's cool, you can add your magnets and they look like this. Because these magnets are so quick to make, you can have lots of gifts made for your friends in no time. You can also maybe think about adding a bale to the back of them and turning them into a pendant. What a quick and easy piece of jewelry. Well, if you need more tips, techniques, and ideas, be sure to check us out on our blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. We post there nearly every day. We have lots of YouTube uh, videos on our YouTube channel at Friendly Plastic TV and you can drop me an email because I would love to hear from you and feature some of your work in Friendly Plastic. But that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again real soon.